Hi, my name is Yuko Nogami Taylor. I am a visual artist, painter. I was born in Japan and came to Raleigh, North Carolina about 27 years ago. I started to paint because I wanted to have a voice of myself. I wanted to express myself. Once I thought that I lost my language completely, um, I, I spoke uh, everyday language, but I never to be able to express how I felt, how I to exist, how I to deal with this world of much pressure than I ever thought that comes to me. Um, painting gave me the token to speak for me. I was a second daughter of, well, uh, nicely uh, founded family. Uh, my role is to predeterminately mm, arrange to be married with somebody who is within our society. And uh, it was okay for me to fall in love with the similar type of people, but uh, I wanted something different. Um, I felt that I was a bit different from other family members. Uh, I went to the, the private school that I supposed to be good girl and pretty and smart and uh, I, I wasn't uh, finding myself that is an uh, um, ideal person. And uh, to finding my ideal was that I wanted to find somebody who is working with their own power and finding their way, their strength, and those things uh, was not finding the people that I was around. Uh, they, most of the guys who I can meet already have inheritance ready to come, predetermined themselves as well, and then I supposed to be a flower to it and to raise children. That, that was basically what I was asked to do. I didn't have a confidence that I wanted to do that. Well, um, I fell in love with a gentleman who I met in Tokyo. Uh, his home was here. So therefore I moved to here and I decided to get married with him. Uh, it was very different. This place that I thought the United States uh, was one way that I was thinking. Um, I thought that the whole world is like Tokyo. <laughs> but um, when I came over here, um, the connection that I thought I have with people, communication that I could do with people, um, transportation that I can come around to, to find my way. All those things was very new and different and my uh, intuition didn't work. I knew that I'm going to destroy my family pride by doing what I would do. But at the same time, I know that I would not live. I would probably end my life there if I didn't get out of there. So one way to see it is that I wanted to get out. And uh, this person who I fell in love uh, was somewhat talking to that too. So that is a uh, very attractive things to as well. And I was really in love. My inspiration come from the people, ancestors, of now it is my heritage, the African-American people who completely obedient to the society but live their life very strongly. Um, that is my inspiration. Uh, those people I want to connect and give a life back to speak to them within my paintings. The Tobacco Goddesses is one of my favorite paintings 
that was included in the show. Um, that image of the lady who probably has to work so hard day and night. Oh my God, can you imagine in the field, sunlight, probably children and, and masters. Uh, just, I cannot imagine how that is. And then still smiling and giving everybody the good feel of hard work is a happy thing. Um, that is um, mind-breaking strength of the person. Um, I just needed to put Japanese goddesses in there to pair because she is exactly the one. Charlotte Hawkins Brown is uh, the first, I believe, uh, founder of the Lady Colored School in North Carolina. And uh, this is her wedding gown portrait that I found in the center. Um, she probably has to go through lots of bumps to make this thing happen. And uh, how you have to believe that education is the key for those ladies to not to go underneath of anybody to be bullied around. Women can stay strong with the knowledge, just as Sohuana did. Writings can give the knowledge to others uh, for it years and centuries to come. I think she wanted to do that. Now that I know a little bit about Sokwana, uh, it's very inspiring that she did not try to be the predetermined ideal person that society pressured her. And that is exactly what I run and in the end, after I have my painting brush, I am speaking finally to the world that this is ideal of how to love others, how to connect with others. My life has changed since I moved to North Carolina for 27 years ago. Um, I. It, it is very difficult, surely, because everything was upside down. But at the same time, this is my life that I am living and I'm creating, I'm choosing. And uh, I am a person who is much more stronger as a woman and, and human beings. Uh, it's, it's giving me a token as a painter too. Um, it was a good decision. I would like to try to merge one more time with this collaboration of now I'm doing African American with the Japanese icon, but uh, now I want to do this Japanese way of painting, which is the Nihonga mineral painting and oil painting to put together how is it going to become. That's what I want to do next. Now I have my painting brush and I have my gallery going. I am a Quixote because I have a voice now and I can dream. <laughs>